After Effects is one of the most popular digital art software out there. If you're in any kind of creative circle, you might have heard of it and wondered what it was. In today's video, we will explore what this legendary software is all about. Without further ado, let's jump right in. After Effects was initially developed way back in 1993 by COSA, short for Company of Science and Art, that was more specifically formed by five people. The company aimed to make a software that can be used on your personal computer and that didn't cost an arm and leg. The company was then acquired by Aldus Corporation and then Aldus itself was acquired by Adobe Inc. The software still thrives today, is updated regularly and is the industry standard in its field of specialty. Adobe's After Effects is a digital editing software. This means that the software is all about digital media and especially videos in After Effects case. It's used for visual effects, by that we mean that the software is used to add visual elements to your video. For instance, you can have a scene in a movie have sunlight protruding through the window when it's not there originally. I love being able to say, hey, you know that pillar on the right, it's kind of getting dark with everything, maybe we could pop it out a little bit. And, you know, just like maybe you might do in Photoshop, you could put a little backlight on it, let's say. And now we're focusing your attention a little bit more on that. Maybe we could duplicate the light and we could push this a little bit further back and maybe we make this one pop out a little bit. The software is also used in making motion graphics, which is basically using the computer to make objects look like they're animated as opposed to frame by frame animation, where you have to draw each little movement in the action you are portraying. Another thing After Effects does is compositing, which is basically photo bashing. You add different elements from a photo or a video to another photo or a video. For instance, you have a picture of a cat sleeping. You want to make it look peaceful, so you add a PNG of a butterfly and put it on the cat's nose. After Effects is usually used after the filming and production of a movie to add various visual effects or for further compositing. It is also used for video games. The software is available on Mac OS and Windows. This is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what the software can do. Make sure to watch our video, What is After Effects Used For, for more of an in-depth look on what you can do using the software. Don't worry, we hear ya. So this software looks all nice, right? How much is it though? Adobe Inc. works with a subscription-based model for most, if not all, their products. After Effects is actually no exception. Purchased standalone, After Effects is about $21 a month. There's also another way to get the software for a lot cheaper. If you subscribe to Adobe's Creative Cloud services, you will be getting many high-end software bundled with After Effects, such as Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. All of that for roughly $80 a month. If you subscribe for a monthly plan, roughly $53 a month for an annual plan that is billed monthly, or around $600 yearly plan that is prepaid. In our opinion, a yearly plan paid monthly is the best option for the best value. But of course, it can depend on where you are financially and what you need and want. The software that come bundled in Adobe's Creative Cloud are many. We're talking more than 20 high-end software. So if you're an artist, this can be a great way for you to have all the tools you would ever need in one bundle, with the same design and interface and your work saved in the same cloud. Adobe is a powerful software, and for that very reason, it needs a very powerful computer to run it smoothly and without hiccups. At the very least, your PC needs to have an Intel or AMD quad-core processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2 gigabytes of GPU VRAM, 15 gigabytes of available hard disk space, 1920 by 1080 screen resolution, and of course, an internet connection to register and validate your subscription. If you're looking for a seamless and perfect experience, your computer would have to have a processor of 8 cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes or more of GPU VRAM, 64 gigabytes of disk space, and a display with resolution greater than 1920 by 1080. We have reached the end of our video. 
We hope that it helped you understand a bit more about After Effects. Make sure to let us know if we missed anything in the comments. Thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.